Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we're gonna talk about 2018 Mr. Olympia champion Sean Roden and his current physique, what he looks like right now, three years after he won the Mr. Olympia and about two years after he was accused of those crimes and he was forbidden to compete. In 2018, his level of conditioning was absolutely ridiculous, he was peeled inside out. And of course, he won the Mr. Olympia beating Phil Heath. But then, a couple of months later, at Pittsburgh Pro, he did a guest posing where he looked not that impressive, in not a very good shape, for an off-season even. This right here was 2019, and uh, people were wondering, will he be able to defend his title if he looks like this in the off-season? So he wasn't small, he was still very muscular, but he added a lot of body fat, a lot of water, and for somebody who is a Mr. Olympia, this was not exactly expected from him, and he received a lot of heat, a lot of hate from the fans, people were not happy seeing him like this in 2019. But here's the thing, the problem with Sean Roden was never really conditioning, this guy can get shredded so easily, it was only the mass, and if he is big in the offseason, it's all good. He was kind of always known for being a little bit too relaxed in the offseason, a little bit chubby, but he was also known for being one of the most conditioned guys on Mr. Olympia stage, so that, again, wasn't a problem, and why am I saying this? It's because of the most recent updates where he does look a little bit chubby too, we gotta get to those in a moment. But here is an interesting photo from 2020, he posted this one in 2020, and a lot of people are wondering when was this taken, is he gonna be competing 2020 because of those uh, pr law problems, let's put it that way, we weren't sure if he was allowed to compete, and here he is pulling a vacuum, so this was from 2020, he was pulling a vacuum, and he did not pull a vacuum at the Mr. Olympia, so if he was able to do it this way, he probably would have done it. So I'm pretty sure he learned how to do a vacuum, or at least he perfected it in 2020. So this was kind of the most recent full physique update in which he does look very good, and he is able to pull a vacuum. So this is really exceptional for a bodybuilder of his size. Even though he was probably the least aesthetically pleasing looking bodybuilder in the offseason, on the stage he was known for aesthetics, for a classic lines. So you can see right here him standing next to Kai Green, who is a lot bigger and who was usually, I think, always better than him as far as placings. But just take a look at this comparison right here. I mean, look at the, the, the waistline, the abs, and the overall aesthetics of Sean Roden. They are just outclassing those of Kai Green, but Kai is kind of dwarfing Sean, really. I mean, look at the size of the arms and the legs and the lats. So Kai is winning this with conditioning and size and decent aesthetics, let's say, but nobody was really as, as, as aesthetic as Sean. He really brought that classic look to open bodybuilding and he won the Mr. Olympia with that. But he could not have won the Mr. Olympia looking like this. This is absolutely aesthetic, I mean, his conditioning is spot on, he kind of looks like Joel Stubbs from the front with better legs, or just say with legs, very aesthetically pleasing physique, he was just great. This was probably before 2013, later he got bigger and bigger, 2018 he was much bigger than he was right here, but his stomach started bulging a little, still, still he was very aesthetic, I mean, he never really lost the aesthetics, but as you can see right here, he was a little bit fresher when he was younger, and you can also see it in his face, especially in his face, just pay attention to his face right here, and look at it now, his face in 2021 looks much older, so... When he won the Mr. Olympia, he was 43, now he's 46, usually when he's taking all the photos and the videos, he's covered up like this, he's not really showing a lot of skin, what matters the most is that he is still big, again, the problem with Sean was never the conditioning, he can get peeled very very easily, what he cannot really do is maintain or gain a lot of muscle, I mean, he can do that, obviously, but it's not as easy as getting conditioned for him, so in this photo right here, you can see that he is huge, like, he is enormous, I mean, when they, when they asked him after 2018 Mr. Olympia, what is the goal for the next year, he immediately said one thing, he said, add 10 more pounds, so he realized, he understood that if he wants to win, he needs to be bigger, Yes, if he gets bigger, he will lose a little bit of that aesthetic factor that he has, 
but it still works. He won a Mr. Olympia when he gained some mass. Another reason why I'm showing you this photo is that I wanted to remind you that he is 46, so he's not a young man anymore. I don't know how his body is responding right now. Uh, Daxter at 46, I think that was the year when he took second at the Mr. Olympia uh, right after Phil Heat. Something like that, about that age. But still, Daxter was better in 2000, uh, uh, 2008. So, Sean, can he really be at his best if he competes, let's say, next year? I don't think he's going to be competing this year. We will probably know so far. But if he competes next year, can he really be at his best at this age? This was the photo that surfaced about a month ago. And I made a video about this. I thought this was recent. Because I saw his uh, gray hairs on his beard. And I don't think I saw those before. So, I thought it could be him right now at 46. But then I saw a lot of new photos and his face looks chubby. It doesn't look uh, like it would look when somebody is as conditioned as he is right here in this photo. And a lot of people actually commented in, the, in that video, told me that this was from his prep files 2018, I believe. So, no, this was not recent. Even though he does look a little bit older here, he probably just didn't shave that day and never posted this photo. But no, this is not recent, apparently. These photos, a couple of photos like this, he posted a couple of months ago and these have to be current and this is him, so he looks again big, really big, not very conditioned, but he does look pretty massive, he does look like he's holding on to a lot of size, which is what is probably the most important thing for him. This one, even though it's not exactly a physique update, you can see a lot of his body, he's wearing a pretty tight shirt and uh, short sleeves, and you can see the size of his arms and the shape of them, that is not really that great, but that is usually the case with him in the offseason, when he gets peeled it does look much more aesthetic, much better, you can see his belly, it's pushing forward a little bit too much, but that's also another thing that happens in the offseason with him, because he needs to eat a lot of food to grow, but overall, you can see his body fat percent, and you can see the size, which is the most important thing. So, Sean Roden did not lose any size, and he's still training very, very hard. Which means, he can still be competitive at that top, top level, Mr. Olympia level. It's interesting that in 2017, he broke his jaw in the offseason, and so he lost a lot of size. He was not nearly this big uh, coming into the prep for the Mr. Olympia. So, he kind of had to grow into the show, started growing, eating a lot, and then getting conditioned. So, that year, he took fifth. So, it was a step back for him. Still, he was able to take fifth, guys. I mean, that wasn't his best shape ever. No, it was not. Next year, he won the Mr. Olympia. But that year, as you can see, he was not exactly super conditioned. He wasn't spot on, but that's because he didn't have a good off season. He wasn't big in the off season. His coach, Chris Asito, says this many times. He just needs to be big. It's not a problem getting him shredded. If he is big in the offseason, he can get lean and then he can dominate. There are a lot of photos and videos, such as this one, where he is training really hard, really heavy, and he does still have a lot of mass. So this means that he is still trying to maintain all the mass that he has so he can actually compete. I don't know when, I don't know which show, I hope Mr. Olympia will allow him to compete again, but it seems like he is hoping for it, because he's not getting any smaller, he's still training very hard, he does look very massive, not exactly conditioned though, but that's normal for Sean Rodden, as for now, from where I can see, he is in a great place, hopefully we will see him on stage again. Whatever you guys think about Sean Roden 2021, tell me down below in the comment section, like this video if you enjoyed it, and for more bodybuilding videos like this, subscribe to my channel. All the best guys and bye bye.